Hi everyone, welcome back to another YouTube video. In today's video, I'm going to share my journey of becoming a self-taught data scientist. For those of you who have been subscribed to my channel um, and have watched some of the previous videos, you would know that I have actually recorded this video before. However, unfortunately, the sound quality was not that great, so a lot of you couldn't hear it. So I'm doing a redo and hopefully this time you, my sound quality is much better and you're able to understand what I'm saying. So with that, let's get started. Uh, in this video, I'm actually going to talk about my educational background, how I got introduced to tech and data science and how I transitioned to becoming a self-taught data scientist while working at a large tech company and what I'm currently doing at Google. So with that, let's get started. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up to help with the YouTube algorithm and let me know in comments if you have any questions or feedback. So let's jump right into it. In terms of my educational background, so um, a, a little bit of information that you should know that I come from a non-tech background. I have a six year gap between my college um, education and high school. Um, I had to take that gap for personal reasons, uh, family reasons. Well, I'll skip over that for now. That's a topic for another video. Uh, but yeah, so when I decided to go back to school, I chose business as my major. Just to give you a little bit more context, nobody in my family growing up, I, I wasn't exposed to tech and nobody in my family worked in tech and nobody in my closer circle was um, working in tech. So I didn't know that people can actually work from their computers. So. Uh, when I learned that, it was fascinating that uh, people can actually do that. So um, going back to when I went back to school, going back to when I went back to school, yes, <laughs> going back to when I went back to school, I decided to choose business as my major. I enrolled, um, got admission at University of Washington. I actually went to North Seattle Community College. I started at a community college and then I transferred to a four year university and I got into business school. Um, and while in business school, I actually took a class in information systems, um, which exposed me to databases, data engineering, databases management. I got to work uh, on a few data projects um, in SQL. So for me, that class was eye opening because as soon as I took that class, I was I immediately know that this is exactly what I wanted to do. However, I was too late in my major at that point and I couldn't change my major to a more data focused major or a computer science major. So I ended up, uh, conti I continued with my business um, program, but I ended up taking a lot of classes outside. While in school, I started looking for internship and I wanted it to be more focused on data job itself. However, I soon realized that there is, um, I couldn't find any internships uh, that are focused on more on data science or data analytics. However, I went to this one networking event where uh, Amazon was present and I networked with somebody from the Amazon team and they had this internship opportunity that I hadn't considered before. The internship was called financial analyst internship. I was talking to that person and that person was kind of like selling me the internship and saying that this is like a good opportunity, especially if you are focused on the data space. Um, however, I was a little bit hesitant because I was, I wanted to do more of like a data analytics internship. However, that person ended up convincing me um, so I gave him my resume and the next thing I know is I got an interview call. Uh, I ended up doing the interview and I got that internship, uh, which ended up being eight months long. Um, there were a lot of good and kind of um, good and not so good parts about the internship that I learned a lot. Um, that internship was exactly as the person described, very data focused. However, there was a lot of repetitive tasks such as like preparing reports, uh, weekly business review, um, and doing a lot of like, I felt like I was doing the same thing over and over again, other than my internship project. Um, however, there were the good parts of the internship was that I was working at a very large company such as Amazon and my network over there expanded very quickly. So yeah, I got to meet a lot with a lot of people in the data engineering and data science, science space uh, while working at that internship. Um, and I built my network enough that I was able to land interviews for data engineering and business intelligence positions. So eventually what I ended up doing, I finished my internship. Um, I did really well on my internship project. Um, out of all the 40 people who did the internship project, my, my project got the highest score. Um, and it was very data focused at that point. For those of you who use Amazon, you would know there's a program called Amazon Smile. So my project, internship product, was more focusing on the, the analytics of uh, Amazon Smile program and how a customer behaves. 
uh, how customer uh, kind of are retaining on the program itself. So it was a very interesting project working on a very new program. Um, so it received a lot of good feedback from, uh, from people who were in the review committee. I ended up doing very well. The team wanted me back. However, I was very clear to the team and to my manager and as well as my skip manager that the financial analysis, financial analyst role is something is not what I want to do full time. And I'm more interested in a data data focused role. So what I ended up doing after finishing that internship, I actually took a lot of courses outside of business school, more on the information system school. I, uh, I took this one. So there were three courses that I did, um, which actually nicely uh, packaged into a certificate, uh, a data certificate. Um, so that was the, the certificate wasn't that helpful, but the knowledge that I learned in that certificate was super helpful because it kind of prepared me for a technical interview round. So I remember I mentioned that I did a lot of networking while I was my, at my internship. So I had a few interviews lined up um, for a data engineering and business intelligence position. And after taking those courses that I did outside of business school, they prepared me enough to be able to pass that interview. Long story short, I, uh, I got an offer to join, join as a data engineer. Um, another story, which I will just skip, just briefly mention is that the team, my team where I interned at, uh, they were only offering me financial analyst role when I finished the internship. However, when they saw that I have offers from other teams for a data engineering role, they actually, uh, changed their mind and they said like, we will take you, um, we have this opening, uh, for a data engineering role. How about you come back? and join our team, which I ended up doing because I was very familiar with that. I worked in that team for eight months and I knew like if I were to join that team as a data engineer, it will be a, a few fewer things for me to learn versus if I were to go into a brand new team because I was pretty well versed in the data space, um, how that team's data work, what were their team's objectives and all of that. All right, so I did that for, I did data engineering for about two years. I learned a lot on, while working as a data engineer. I worked with um, my, the, the, I have to say like the senior uh, teammate, the senior data engineer on the team was one of the best mentors I could have asked for. He was um, like, he was very welcoming. And if I had questions or I needed guidance or if I'm stuck somewhere, like I would go to him and ask him questions. And we're still in touch. It's been about almost like 10 years now and um, that person has been in my contact since then okay so I did data engineering for two years I started feeling pretty comfortable in the space I felt like I was um, I was building I think there were a couple of things that I felt I was lacking um, in the role one is that I was building data pipelines which is pretty cool right like um, working at such a big tech company and building data pipelines to understand how customers are entering the site and what is their order journey looks like, like building that path and that pipeline. Um, however, one thing I realized that um, every time I would work on something, I would be in the back end and <laughs> I would feel like that my name kind of get missed when it times to present, when it's time to present, I felt like my name would kind of be not part of the final piece that gets um, presented to business or products and things like that. Okay. So yeah, two years in, I, I did a project while at the data engineer role, I decided I got this project that was more research focused. And that was a project where it, uh, kind of like gave me a flavor of more in the data science uh, domain. And that's when I decided that I'm going to switch teams and I'm going to go for, uh, go into a more data science focused team, uh, which I ended up, um, I joined a team called web lab, which was the AB testing Team. Eventually, I found one team that was very open to having me as a data engineer uh, join their team. And there I got exposed to um, the data scientists, the resource scientists that were working at the, in that team. For the next six months, for me, pretty much it was a lot of rigor put into learning, learning statistics, learning um, the, the different languages uh, such as R and Python. Um, and then uh, a lot of a lot of my learning was like, I would learn from my the work that my teammates would have done and if i have questions i would go to them and ask questions and then other fundamental concepts i bought a bunch of books and then i would read them and then get like a better grasp in terms of like statistics fundamentals so for any of you who are trying to get into data science i would say 
uh, start with statistics because that was that is actually the fundamentals of like data science and as well as like machine learning and AI. So yeah, I did a lot of learning. I would learn from my teammates' work. Eventually, I got assigned on my own projects, um, and I would learn outside of work. And then I would come to work, and then I would apply those skills that I've learned on the job and complete those projects. Eventually, I had built the data science project portfolio that um, enough pro projects that my manager decided that it's time um, for me to transition officially in the system, transition to a data scientist uh, title. Uh, so my manager put together this case um, and requested the HR to transition me. So there was some pushback from the, from the HR where they were like, she doesn't have a master's. Um, or she doesn't have a PhD, so we're not going to uh, for, we're not going to transition. But my manager's comment to HR was, "If she's already doing the work, why do you care?" And I think that worked a lot. He, my manager, did fight for me, and I have to give him a lot of credit because he didn't only do that. He was actually a great teacher, a great mentor. I remember a lot of our one-on-ones were would turn into like him teaching me a concept, whiteboarding something, and then like teaching me and like. Uh, simplifying things for me and then uh, helping me just like learn. So I do get, have to give him a lot of credit for uh, everything that he did for me from starting, for, for taking me in as a data engineer and then helping me build that, uh, build my data science project portfolio and helping me learn along the way. And then finally uh, working with HR and working and officially transitioning me into in the system, which is exactly what we agreed on before I joined the team. So yeah, I did that for about three years, uh, worked as a data scientist, uh, worked on a lot of cool projects. Uh, my team supported experimentation of the entire amazon.com globally. So I got to see, I got to see a lot of cool things um, in terms of like, if there were like some changes being made on the side or if there are new features getting added, I would get to uh, do a lot of like, uh, uh, a lot of like statistical analysis to understand if a customer, if customers like a new feature or change in this feature or not, if it's a launch or no launch decision. Mm, hands down my favorite team. So eventually I became, um, after like doing it for a couple of years, I became so well versed that I became the experimentation expert um, uh, where I would teach other people how to run good experiments. Um, and eventually th there was this program called, which basically uh, called Bar Razors. So Bar Razors, uh, basically are people who are experimentation expert. So I was one of the bar raiser for experimentation. Eventually I became a trainer and I would train other people to become experts. Uh, eventually those people would go and then uh, train other people. So I had like grand kids, uh, grand trainees, uh, basically people who have taught, have taught further people to become experts in this domain. Um, so it was, yeah, hands down, super rewarding experience. Uh, really, really enjoyed working my uh, working in that domain, um, and I, I, I knew like that was the right decision for me to make that transition because like I was really enjoying that work and I was um, getting great feedback. My performance reviews went up, so everything like working working out for for my career wise. In terms of, um, you must be wondering like, did having a data engineering background or a business background help me? 100% having a business background really, really helped because I knew how the businesses work, what, how to speak in business language. Um, and um, you would know like if you, for any data scientist, having the domain knowledge, having a good grasp on business, because at the end of the day, you're doing the work to solve business problems. So if you're working as a data scientist with a good domain knowledge of the business, you are going to do very well because you are going to be solving for the right problems. In terms of data engineering background, yes, that also helped quite a bit because I was not dependent on other people to pull my data or if I had to like even build like a scrappy data pipeline, I was able to do it on my own. That kind of like uh, made my projects run a little bit faster. Um, so yeah, it was overall, I, I feel like my path really, it's not like I waste, wasted any time. I think that the work I did in data engineering space, going to school in the business domain was uh, obviously has a big impact on my success um, in my data science career. 
I did the data scientist role for about three years. Um, and eventually I decided to leave the company and I'm currently working at Google. I've been here for about a year and a half. Uh, I'm primarily supporting the Google search engine domain, uh, where basically when people are searching for things, um, and basically analyzing uh, that data. Um, so yeah, it's been, it's been uh, super awesome, uh, like from career standpoint, from the, the, the domain knowledge that I've gained in the field, working in e-commerce um, and then working in a platform, with a, on a platform such as uh, Google search engine. It's just been an amazing transition. Um, and yeah, so with that, thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions or any feedback, or if you just want to hype me up, like feel free to leave a comment. I would love that. So I hope the sound quality was much better on this video and thank you so much for watching and have a great day. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.